Jordan says, This is your brother G World. Seven underscore D. I want to continue a little bit when I was, uh, the video I posted up the other day. And some of the things I was saying. I want to emphasize this. Like I said before, anyone who's telling you that you're just descendant of African slaves is a coon. Anyone who's telling you that America is not the old world, it's the new world, is a coon, and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, they really don't. But they have some kind of agenda to we're not trying to Africanize every single black person and to make everything that we do is African. <laughs> There's no, quote, hatred towards Africa. It's just the point that we're, we're, we have diverse backgrounds and we originate all over the planet. But I won't say this. I showed you in the past before pictures of the Chippewa Indians. And um, they were in Canada and into um, what you call uh, the Midwest. Now, the people who obviously represent the Chippewa today are nothing but some white folks, man, some Asian white folks. They, they're not no damn Chippewa, but the original Chippewa, you see images of them. And it's, it's under, figure, it's under like a, a graphing called Deputation. I forgot other Chippewas or something like that. And you see them, these are some straight up Negroes. And one of the individual figures have a combed out afro. <laughs> see, the afro was worn by Negroes here, a lot of those Negroes in the Pacific Islands. A lot of the Africans were imitating following what the blacks here were doing. And then you see other figures with red painted on their face, but you look at them closely, they were black. And then you see them have the colors red, white, and blue. Those colors have been around for the Aboriginal black people here in America. Those colors are red, white, and blue. That's not new to white Europeans. Negroes was having that already here in America. All right. Negroes already had that here in America those colors. So those colors did not come from white. See, white folks have hijacked and stolen every damn thing. Every damn thing. But those colors that the, these our ancestors had, they were doing that already here in America. <clears throat> they were doing the mummification process already here in America. And they were building the great cities. And you know, you had the cities of gold and all this. See, a lot of people knew about the ancient Aboriginal black civilizations here in America. They knew about the cities of gold and all that stuff out west. And these great monuments and structures that built castles throughout this country. But you see, a lot of your Pan-Africans, they have ignored the Americas. And then what they would say in the past, all they did was talk about an African presence. They didn't say that the original people here were Negro. They just started to recently say that because other people are doing their independent research so they don't want to be falling behind, they want to fall behind and then they want to basically, when well, people still listen to their BS, but they still want to push everything that's African, African, African and attack your ass when you say you're not an African. America's not the new world, stupid. And when you hear people, like I said, tell you that, they, they openly tell me that they have an agenda, they don't know what the hell they talk about. But when you look at those, um, when you have pyramids all over America, the ones that made the sea, uh, seashells over in Brazil. You have a <clears throat> great mile pyramid structures here in South America and some in North America. All right, a lot of those mounds I told you before were destroyed. Those mounds were destroyed by those mounds were destroyed by Europeans <clears throat> who came over here. Now we, <clears throat> we also got to <clears throat> excuse me understand. Is there a lot of dangerous and derelict stuff that came when it was being done over here? You had a lot of black Europeans come over here. I showed you the picture before that Hernando de Soto was a Negro. You know, you you had we know about the Moors as in Europe was in 711 to 1492, but Negroes was ruling Europe way before that. <clears throat> you know, you had the the Greeks. You know, you had the Etruscans. You had all those people. Those are those are Negroes ruling Europe. Now, now, I'm doing this from the freestyle in my head when I get out here and do this on freestyle, but I want to emphasize this and say this, is that women, when I talk about a lot of black Europeans, like I said, a lot of them were Catholics, all right? And when you look at the origin of the Pope and everything, 
and regalia he wears that all comes from Asa, Osiris. So they took the, the stuff from a mythical figure and then placed it on the little human figure <laughs> and called the human the Pope. <laughs> See, all your popes were black all the way through the Holy Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire. All your popes were black, all of them, all right? You're probably your first white pope is probably Francis. Francis was your first white, white pope or non-melanated pope because all of them were black. You know, like I said, they took the image and the physical character, what they said of, you know, show of Osiris and place it on the pope. When you look at the pope, the, the ostrich shell, uh, ostrich shell, um, head guard that he wears, but his is in a, um, has an opening on it, was like a fish. <laughs> and then he has the hook and frail. All that was taken from um, Osiris, and even the white garb, and the way he sits on the throne. That was taken, you see the image of Osiris, you can see the image of the Pope. So all they did was take from that, and then place it to what you call the Papas. Our people need to understand that the, the original people of all of Europa were Negroes. The original people of all of Asa, Asia, were Negroes. The original people of the Pacific Island were Negroes. And, I, and this is not hard research to do. Lots of times you can just look at these individuals. You can look at some of these features that these individuals have. You can look at uh, just basically <clears throat> look at some old paintings of ancient Russian saints and priest. These are all Negroes. None of these people were pale-skinned, albinoid people. And these bastards know this, man. They know this. They know this. That even the building structures I tried to show you before, how you see of the Aztecs, and that needle design, that dome shape, you have that in every state capital. And also the, um, uh, what do you call it, the Washington Monument, or was over to Washington, D.C. You had that type of dome shape. That figure was stolen from Aboriginal blacks here, and then you had black Europeans was building that, too. So that knowledge was done by, quote, melanated, darker, negroid people. And when I say melanated, I'm talking about black people. I'm not talking about a pale Siberian individual. I'm talking about so-called black people. And I said that there's various different type of black people here in America. All right? You had some who had which you which you consider a Mongolian feature like. Alright? And you like I said, you had some who were more like uh, nomadic. <clears throat> but then you obviously had your empires. See when they what they teach you about the Aztec, they were just slaughtering their own and all that stuff. That's a goddamn lot, man. A lot of those individuals, a lot of those civilizations, man, what they were doing, they had a lot of damn Asians and they were sacrificing them goddamn Asians, man. <laughs> It was sacrificing them, man. So when they tell you that mess, uh, all that nonsense, man, they were sacrificing them goddamn Asians, man. They were, and then you look at some of those doggone paintings, you see that darker people are sacrificing lighter shaded people. And I mentioned this before, and the, um, the, they show white folks with clubs, like the caveman. Even the caveman could do it, because that's what they were, cave people. <laughs> they didn't have last names. And many of them did not have first names, so they stole the identity of the black people. When the black people no longer ruled those castles in Europe, they took over the occupation. So they started occupying and took the identity. Remember, a lot of black people in Europe, a lot of them were basically pushed out, what you call so-called religious wars. A lot of stuff was racial wars, but the religious wars. You had your British wars, you had your one-year wars. And yet your 30 year war. All right. It was during those periods that a lot of the black people there in Europe were being expelled out of there. With the help of other Negroes. But Europe at one point was wholly Negro until white folks came along much later. So all the rulership was ne were Negroes in Europe. All right. So when you hear all them people like Constantine, Constantine the Great, um, Ivan the Terrible, Justinian, Justinian uh, the second. Those are all black people, man. 
But then they try to whitewash it. It's so funny. And then when you look at some of those paintings, they do something called iconography. Iconography. Where they try to, you can look at some of the paintings. You see, see some of the black is on it, but they try to white, whiten it up. Then you get these fake ass paintings, man. These fake paintings. Like you see them fake paintings of Osceola, man. No, Osceola was a damn Negro, man. But they give you some fake white ass painting as a white dude or some uh, mongoloid dude, pale mongoloid dude, and try to pass it off as Osceola. This is these bastards. Uh, they are basically done a fake re reincarnation or a fake interpretation, rewriting the history on the fly. And you know they're lying. They know they're lying. <laughs> these bastards know they're lying. But unfortunately, you get Negroes like Gates. You get these other coon Negroes who will say and do anything for white trinkets. And they'll just tell you that you come from West Africa as a slave, which is so inaccurate, man. And when you hear Negroes say this, man, you just need to dismiss that. Just dismiss that and go about your merry way. Because those Negroes are getting misinformation. Mostly so-called educated coons. And that's what they are. Are basic people who have been brainwashed by white folks. And you got all those white teachers at Howard University. All those foreigners, man. Miseducating the youth there. And unfortunately, a lot of these damn universities, like I said, you have a bunch of pale skin and non-Aboriginal people teaching there. And they misinforming the youth at so many of these HBCU schools, but they get their grants and their money from the white uh, ran US government. So they at the mercy. So they only gonna go so far. Even they went that damn Howard University went against um, how they attacked Bill Cosby, what they did, and then they um at least Felicia Shy attacking her. And some of the students protest, most of them weren't even Aboriginal Americans, man. And this is something we got to really talk about and hammer on. We cannot have a lot of individuals that are not of our lineage to try to interpret or tell our history and our story. That's a no-no, man. But some of our people don't care. Some of our people uh, find that enjoyment and they, they feel that there's some badge of honor that someone is, quote, talking about the history, but all they do when they want to distort it and then take credit for it. You gotta put you gotta put your mind together and realize that pale skinned people aren't indigenous to anything. Pale skinned people are not indigenous to anything. They cannot survive in a certain climate. This is known. I'm gonna show something real quick if, if my camera can get it. See that moon? See that boom? So when the ancients looked up, they looked up at the moon, um, and you see those images of the moon, they tried to interpret that here on Earth. So a lot of times the images that you see in the sky, they try to reinterpret that here on Earth. So it's, right now it's a clear sky. You can see things. But in the modern days with all these factories and these damn cars smogging up the damn everything and trucks, that it basically smog up everything. So it's hard to see, but it's a clear sky. Our ancestors were able to view the sky. They were great astronomers. And they was able to basically see things as far away and make the image more closer. They had that technology, right? Our answers weren't simple-minded people, ignorant people. And so we got to stop with the, we just brought over the enslaved ships. Our right? history started with some African tribe on the slave ship. And then we didn't do nothing but just run around half naked in some African tribe. <laughs> man, this is, this is what you get, man. And this is what your so-called educated class is teaching you. They're not very educated, they've just been heavily indoctrinated. So when someone tell you that so-called black Americans are African, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. And when they tell you that America's the new world, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're pushing a damn agenda. Like I said, when you had pyramids and other monument structures that are older than the pyramids of Giza, which is the old world, how the hell are you gonna call this a new world? We have mummies here that's older than damn Egypt. How the hell this is the new world? So when you hear niggas, Negroes tell you that, pardon me, pardon me, when you hear Negroes tell you that, like I said, they having a damn agenda. They have a damn agenda. <clears throat> and they don't want to admit that they've been wrong all these damn years. So they want to get in the bandwagon, <clears throat> do it 360, and say they've been talking about Aboriginal all their damn life, which is a goddamn lie. So I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, this, man. 
continue to learn your history, continue to study your true history, and do not listen to these mainstream niggers, man. Do not listen to them. They're going to have you chasing things that are not there. They're going to have you looking for a shadow in a pitch black room with no lights. I'm telling you, this is what these niggers doing. Do not trust their ass. Do not believe what they're telling you. Because they mis they've been misinformed all their damn life. And they're too damn arrogant to realize that they've been misinformed and miseducating our people. So, brothers and sisters, this is a quick little off-the-top video from straight from my head, man. Um, I'm going to try to do one later on. If I don't do later on, it'll be sometime. You know, not this weekend of the week. I'm going to try to do one later on today or definitely tomorrow. Excuse me. Definitely tomorrow. We'll do a video. All right, brothers and sisters. This is Brother G World. Seven score day. Peace.